Hey, what's up YouTube? Houston here. Hey, if you are a startup or an LLC and you're trying to figure out, well, how do I get pay stubs for my business? Well, this video is for you. Now, I'm going to teach you a hack, but at the same time, guys, you have to be very careful with this because it can get you in a lot of trouble if you do it wrong, all right? So I'm gonna teach this to you, but you definitely have to be very careful on making sure you follow it step by step or either get you a CPA or an attorney to help. Like I said, it's a simple hack. Some people are able to do it on their own, but some people may need a CPA or attorney to do it for them, but it's a simple hack to make sure you get pay stubs. So whenever you're trying to apply for funding and stuff like that, and they ask for bank statements and pay stubs, you're able to present those pay stubs, okay, to help you buy a house or you trying to uh, show proof of income to get a higher limit on a credit card or you trying to trying to show proof of income to get a car for your business or you trying to get a, a car for yourself but this is a hack that's going to help you and the great thing about it you can actually use your credit card okay that's right you actually can use your uh, personal credit card or business credit card i would suggest using your business credit card okay uh again because you're working for the company so you want to show it as a business transaction now here's another thing that you have to understand about this here hack uh like i said if you don't do it right if you don't ask the right questions there's a lot that you can lose from it all right now let's jump into it so you understand what's happening and how it can help you to be able to get access to more funding a car or a house or something like that first you need to sign up with plastic.com now plastic.com p-l-a-s-t-i-q.com plastic.com what they do they allow you to do a uh, business to business transactions or business to personal transaction well by them uh, working with ADP now you're able to use your business credit card to pay for your payroll all right and so I'm gonna take you through the steps so the first step again is signing up with plastic.com now in reference to this transactional fee of uh, um, plastic.com they charge a fee of 2.85 percent okay for the transactional uh, of this all right now Here's another thing you have to know. Um, when you're paying uh, with your credit card, okay, it can only be a MasterCard or Visa, and it cannot be a Capital One credit card. So guys, let me know if I'm explaining this in, in good detail so you understand it. If I'm doing a good job, put a comment below because this is very important because I don't, I want you to have success and I don't want you to get in trouble. So doing it the right way so that way you don't have any issues with the IRS nor your bank. All right. So that's the reason I'm telling you this. Uh, again, you have to use a MasterCard or Visa, but you cannot use your Capital One credit card. They do not accept Capital One, okay? Now, another step you would have to do, you would have to make an account with ADP, all right? Yes, you have to make an account with ADP. Now, here's the interesting thing about it. With ADP, uh, they have different tiers of their uh, software and stuff like that. So, and they'll actually get on the phone to teach you how to walk through it. So you're not doing this by yourself, all right? So if you need uh, ADP to get on the phone with you, but you do have to have an account with them, okay? And so their uh, basic account starts at $59 plus $4 per person. So if you are one owner LLC, a one owner startup, see, uh, a DBA or something like that, uh, like I said, it's $59 a month plus $4 per person, all right? Now, you have to be careful with ADP. I'm gonna tell you this to be uh, transparent with you. You have to be careful with ADP because they have the tendency to sell you more than what you need. Need, okay and for this here you only need the basics okay so just be careful with it now that being said the next step you have to do 
Once you have your plastic account, you have your ADP account, when you go into plastic, you connect your ADP account to it, all right? And then whatever credit card you're using, that's going to be on your plastic.com uh, platform, okay? Now, once you connect those uh, with ADP, it's your payroll book account information is what you want to have connected, okay? Now, uh, Plastic is going to send the payment over to ADP. ADP takes that money and they deposit it into your bank account, okay? So this is how the transaction happens, and so this is how it actually generates the uh, pay stub, okay? Now, that being said, some people may ask, well, what would probably be the best business credit cards? I would say you want to try to find a, a business credit card. And I made videos about it, the best video, uh, business credit cards that offer um, anywhere from 18 months to 24 months of no interest, no balance transfer. Okay. Uh, you have a, like a U.S. bank. You may have a, like a city card. You may have a, like a Chase Business credit card. You may have some of the credit unions like a, but that being said, if you're not able to get one of those business credit cards, if you want to go for the low hanging fruit, if you're just trying to get into the game, then you may want to consider, um, well, like I said, you can't use Capital One, right? But you definitely um, can use uh, CorePay, so if you trying to get a CorePay account, all you need is a 600 credit score. Uh, I'll put a link in the description uh, so you can get access to CorePay. But CorePay, remember this, they're a net 21 account, okay? So once you use the account, you have 21 uh, calendar days to pay it off, okay? So just keep that in mind, all right? Uh, you may can use your line of credit from Divi, all right? And then you also have... Um, capital on tap all right so you also have them now here's something else like some people may like I said you can use your personal credit card for this but I would not because of your debt to income ratio so if you happen to say that you have a ten thousand dollar credit card and you need to show bank statements and you paying yourself say forty five hundred dollars a month and you're using your credit card to make that statement or whatever then your utilization goes up, right? The utilization goes up, and then that can be a threat of them lowering your balances, right? Right now, what's going on in the banking world, they have been not only uh, verifying income, all right, that's the reason you want these pay stubs uh, and bank statements, but at the same time, the problem is, is that even if you uh, go over your utilization, this is the reason I tell you to not use too much on the personal side use your business credit card because when you use too much on the personal side they can even uh either lower your credit card or shut it down okay so just keep that in mind so please be careful another thing in reference to using these credit cards you want to make sure and this is very important that you need to understand this you want to make sure that uh, your bank is making it as a transactional uh, purchase instead of a cash advance because if they do it as a cash advance then you're being charged a daily interest rate so you don't want to use this as a daily interest rate you want to make sure that it's a it's a, a regular purchase transaction okay so you may want to check with your banks now i know for some people they're like well it's a great way to liquidate a credit card but here's the thing about it if you're planning on liquidating the credit card, then you may want to ask your banks to send you out a check and see if there's any, uh, what are the fees for a balance transfer to make it easier on yourself, okay? Because I know a lot of people uh, that look at this and like, hey, this is a great opportunity for me to liquidate my credit card and not be able to uh, hit all those, pay all those interest or whatever, but please understand this is very important contact your cre uh, credit card company uh, make sure that it's a, a transactional purchase and not a cash at 
advance okay that's very important you can even call ADP and they may be able to give you some references of what what banks don't charge it as a cash advance all right so that's very important now if you have any other questions about business credit funding personal credit funding then click the link in the description and schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation thank you